streaming a video. Hey guys, how you doing today? In this video, we will show you step-by-step, -step, straight to the point, how to stream a video with Streamer by Vidtune. So let's get you started right away. I'm right now inside my Streamer by Vidtune account. In order to stream a video, well, you first need to have a video ready. As we already mentioned, you can add a video either from your computer or by downloading it from a specific YouTube URL or by downloading it from the YouTube Creative Commons. There are two ways you can live stream a video. The first way, which is by adding a video using any of the three ways you already know and simply clicking on Live Streamer right away. The first way of streaming will let you go live with any video of your choice right away without translating it into another language. And the second way is by transcribing and translating a video and live stream it inside the video project. I would like to live stream a video located inside a video project. Here in your dashboard, you will notice a recent files area. You will see listed two types of files, MP4 files, which are the videos you have downloaded from YouTube, both from a URL or from YouTube Creative Commons. You can also use these videos to live stream using them the first way. And also you will find the project files, which are transcribing and translating projects you have already worked on with the app. And now that I have this project already open, I will show you the second way to live stream your video. So for that, click on stream. As you notice, I would need to render the video right before being able to stream it. I have already rendered the Italian version. So now I would like to render the Spanish version. Let's pick the destination folder and a new name for it. Let's decide the output type and click on render in stream. Great, now the streamer function has loaded. The first thing you will notice is the instant translator. What this tool does is translate video information like title, description, and tags instantly between two languages of your choice. So you can add this information in your live streaming platforms. As you notice, the video information from the YouTube video I added to work on this project is preloaded here in its original language, which is English. So what I want now is to translate it into Spanish which is the language I have translated this video to. So I will simply pick English, which is the original language of the video, and will pick Spanish, which is the language I have translated this video to, and click on Translate Now. Copy this information into another text file so you can use it inside the live streaming platforms you will be live streaming. Let's continue. Here in the streamer, you will also be able to add an intro video, which is a video people will be able to see before the main video you want to live stream. And also, you will be able to add an outro video, which is a video people will be able to see after they have watched the main video you want to live stream. These videos are optional. And the main video is the main video you want to live stream. In my case, is this video I have translated into Spanish. Haría presentarte. Eres famoso. In account, you will see listed the live streaming accounts you have active and ready to live stream. In manage, you will be able to manage the credentials for those accounts. I have already added YouTube and Facebook. I can edit the credentials inside of it. But what I will do now is add them again to show you how to do this. So let's click on add new. The first thing you will do is select a streaming platform. There you see listed YouTube and Facebook. But if you click in custom, you will be able to add any other streaming account like Twitch. But let's add YouTube first. You will need to give your streaming account a name. This name here is for your internal reference. I will name it YouTube too, as I already have another named YouTube. For the stream URL, you don't need to do anything. And for the stream key, you should need to look for it. Let me show you. For getting your YouTube stream key, you will need to go to youtube.com. And once logged in, click on the create icon and click on go live. Then go to stream and in edit, you will be able to add your video information like title, description and tags.
and here you will see your YouTube stream key. You just need to copy it. Go back to your streamer account and paste it, and then click on Add. Let's do the same thing with Facebook. Click on Add New. Select Facebook. Give your streaming account a name. And for your stream key, you will go to facebook.com slash live slash producer. And once logged in, you will be able to decide where you want to go live on Facebook. You can pick your timeline, a page you manage, or a group. Or you can even show it to specific friends. Or even to only you. You can also add your title and your description here. And in Get Started, you will select Use Stream Key. In Setup Options, you should enable Use a Persistent Stream Key. So your key can be reused every time you go live, and you don't have to add the key again every time you go live. And here you see your stream key. Copy it, and paste it, and click on Add. And that's how you add your YouTube and Facebook streaming accounts. So let's go live. For that, you need to select a streaming account. Let's try YouTube. For audio bitrate, we recommend 160, and for video bitrate, we recommend 2,500 kilobytes per second. And click on Start Streaming. Let's check on your YouTube streaming page. And there you have it. You can also check in your YouTube profile URL. And there, people will see you are live. Eres famoso. ¿Qué tal algunos sonidos de animales? ¿Puedes hacer un lobo rojo? So now, my Spanish YouTube friends will enjoy my Spanish video. Really awesome, don't you think? Let's try out Facebook now. Let's select Facebook and click on Start Streaming. Go to your Facebook streaming page. Click on Go Live. And there you are. I decided to go live in my timeline, so let's take a look at that. And there it is. So now my Spanish Facebook friends will enjoy my Spanish video. Famoso. ¿Qué tal algunos sonidos de animales? ¿Puedes hacer un lobo rojo? ¿Qué tal un búho? ¿Qué tal un gallo? This is just terrific, guys. So go and keep playing around with this tool. It's just amazing. See you in a future video.